All right, so we have our all the parts we've stripped off, and I, let, I think putting them in a bin is a really good idea. Set them off to the side. So now we're going to remove these two pins. They're three millimeter pins that set um, their press fit in here, so they're a really tight fit, and uh, you're going to need to carefully bang them out. Um, to do that, you will need a hockey puck, or I used a chunk of Deller in here and machined it out so it fits a barrel nicely. They also make purpose-built blocks for that on um, Brownells. You'll also need a block over here to support it. I don't care what this stock looks like at the end, so I'm using it, but you might want to pad it if you care about your stock. All right, to actually remove the pins, my tool of uh, vast preference is um, a rivet gun that's different from an air hammer. This one feathers. You can give a little tap or a big tap. Um, they can be had for about 200 bucks if you're at all mechanically inclined. I highly recommend getting one. Uh, since most people don't have one of those, I'm going to use punches today. These are very long for what we want to do. Um, as they age and break, I'll grind them down to be shorter. But I don't use these very often because it's the air hammer, so these are, are fairly virgin. So we're going to um, come in here and line up on that hole. You want one that's smaller than an eighth because uh, these are three millimeters, an eighth is, or three millimeters is 120 thousandths, an eighth of an inch is 125, so you're gonna press fit your eighth inch uh, punch in, and that's not what you want. So I'm gonna get these going with a couple good stiff wax here to get them started. This is not a case where gentle is better. Uh, you'll tend to peen out the, uh, the top of the head there. So now I'm going to give it a little bit of an offset and I'm going to knock it out. So here's a little three millimeter pin. They like to disappear, so um, proceed accordingly. So I didn't speak about this earlier, but whenever possible, you want to protect the crown and the threads. This is a, uh, a slant break that was ground down. Uh, this is a Jim Fuller trick here, but oftentimes you'll be able to just buy these muzzle protector caps. I'm going to take it off because it's interfering with getting this other pin out. All right, here we have our two pins, and the muzzle retaining pin is now free. Uh, there is a spring hiding right now that I'm going to try and fish out so it doesn't get lost. Here it is. This thing will absolutely get lost if you leave it in there. So these are the four pins or four items associated with the front uh, sight block. On a century, these pins are shorter in the front than they are in the back. They're quite a bit longer. So you will know, but be advised that those are different on a century. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and bang these guys out. Same idea. Um, I'm going to set that like that. So there's the longer pin. See that? Alright, so our two long ones the two long ones go with the gas block the two short ones go with the front sight tower and heck while I'm in a pin removal mood let's just get this one done too I'm gonna use a bigger punch obviously all right, so it looked like it didn't want to be banged out from that side, so I'm uh, banging it from the other side. Yep, and it's moving now.
we will uh, set up something like that. All right, so now we have our rear sight uh, pin out. All right, so those are all the pins that we will be removing today. I recommend sticking them in their own little baggie. And now we will, next we will uh, press off the front sight block. All right, so we're about to, to depopulate the front sight block. You will need um, two steel bars. Uh, you can get these from Robert Forbus uh, at a good price. You will either need a RAS 47 or a C39, a Century uh, press plate, or an AKM press plate, or if you have a Yugo or something different, we don't make those yet, but um, you will need the appropriate plate for the barrel journal. So the, the, <clears throat> uh, the diameters of the barrel change depending on which AK you're working with. So this is a gun specific plate. Um, you will need a muzzle protector. This could be a penny, um, but Robert makes a really nice brass plug that sit, sits right here. Uh, you will also need a 12 ton press. Uh, Harbor Freight or similar. You don't want a bigger one and you don't want a smaller one. This is the right tool for the job. And if your press is, a, if your uh, hydraulic press is as tired as mine, having a pair of pliers to close the valve uh, is really nice. All right, let's go to work. All right, so we're going to set these bars right about like this. And we're going to bring, again, being mindful of the threads on the muzzle, we're going to bring this up. We're going to protect this. And then I'm going to slide, since this is a century, I'm using the century plate. And we're going to find the smallest one that fits, which is this one. Smallest yoke. And, uh... Just for grins, I'm going to hang it this way. And then I'm going to narrow this up. I'm not going to have it actually touching because I don't want to scrape up the finish on the barrel any more than I have to. I'm going to roughly center this. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to check that this thing is in there. Uh, you're going to want to, I would advise wearing safety glasses for every one of these steps. So I'm tightening down my, uh, my release valve here. Uh, I'm going to double check that both of my pins are out, and they are. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to gently crank. If you hear a bunch of clanging right now, you're doing, it's, it's bad. Doesn't mean it's fatal, it's just not good. Okay, so I'm bottomed out here. I'm gonna. This should just kind of squeeze out. Yeah, I can. I can kind of work it the rest of the way out now. All right, and we're out. The things that you want to avoid here are uh, getting off axis. As we go further along, you can bend the barrel if you put too much force on, or if you're off axis. It's not hard to do, so proceed with care. I'm going to release the hydraulic a little bit. Oops. We have a bit of a yard sale. Alright, I'm going to put this in the bin now and we're going to move on to the gas block.